Welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today, we're going to review this pencil sharpener. It's not a battery operated one. It's one that runs off your utility and it's 120 volt and they've actually uh, reduced it down so it operates off of 12 volt and I thought that was very interesting as well. So this is the unit right here and all I've done is taken out of the box. It's Bostish Connect Vertical Electric Pencil Sharpener. So why did I pick this? Well, I went on Amazon and I started to look around because I wanted a pencil sharpener. And man, I'm going to show you what I've been using for 40 years. And uh, it just don't cut it no more. I'm going high tech. I'm going electric. So I looked at all the reviews and I thought, okay, well this one here seems fine for me. I mean, 20 bucks, the price is right. You know, and it runs off a of utility. Let's take a look at it. I haven't used it yet. First time. I'm going to show you the unit first, then we're going to try it out. And uh, apparently this thing here will sharpen your pencil, stop when it's finished, and uh, it'll do everything except uh, cook your breakfast. So uh, let's go over, let's take a look. Well here we go right there, there's the unit. Got a pencil ready to go. Actually I got two pencils that I'm going to sharpen. And you can see it's got the power cord that just kind of uh, connects in the side here. Very easy, connects to your utility. And this is the little basket for uh, your shavings. So I'm going to give you a close-up look at this and inside. I can get you up inside here and show you. But first I want to show you exactly the type of pencil sharpener I've been using for 40 years. Well actually not 40 years. About every two years I have to buy one of these at the dollar store. And uh, well nothing at the dollar store is a dollar anymore is it? So these are three bucks now. So I'm going to show you what I've been suffering with for years with all these kind of lousy type of pencil sharpeners and hopefully this one's going to be better. I'll take you off the tripod and I'll show you what's going on here. Okay, can you see that right there? Now, would that just frost your Yahoo or what? Just trying to sharpen a pencil like that. And half the time, you know what happens? Is right at the end there where the lead is, well, you start sharpening it with this type of style and, uh, well, the lead just busts off. So I mean, yeah, it gets stuck in there and I've had enough of that. So now I'm gonna show you something that I do with my pencils that maybe you don't do, but I do in my shop. So let's take a look. Okay, so there's my uh, table saw. Where do I put my pencil? Right there. Nice and convenient. Anytime I wanna use it, it's there and uh, it comes in real handy. So let's go over to uh, my miter saw and here's my other pencil right here. All I do is just uh, say hello to Brian's Mobile One and uh, there's my pencil. I just epoxy a little small magnet and every time I want to use it, it's right there handy. It's not laying on the ground anywhere, right? So I use pencils a lot. So let's take a good look at this pencil sharpener up close. So here's the basket. I haven't used this thing yet. And uh, if you take a look up in there, yeah, you can see that there's a motor up in there, and a, I'll see if I can get a better shot, but yeah, it's got like a couple of grinders in there, and uh, yeah, this will do almost everything except cook your breakfast, so I mean for 20 bucks, and it's, you know, it's a brand name, right? Just plug it in there, it's got some rubber feet on the bottom so it doesn't slide around, so let's get sharpening, and let's see what this baby will do. Okay, you ready? Let's try her out. Let's see what happens. Brand new pencil, first time. Okay, it didn't shut off, but maybe I read the instructions wrong. Well, actually, I never read any instructions. I just read all kinds of reviews, and uh, I thought it was supposed to shut off. But if we take a look at that pencil there, I'm going to give you a little bit of a close-up shot here. And uh, I'm telling you what, that is like, uh, well, that's, that's pretty good to me. It's not all furry on the outside and everything. And, uh, you know, let's take another look and let's see. And uh, let's try another pencil, see what happens. Now, you don't have to hold it, I guess, because there you go. No, it does not shut off by itself. But I'm telling you what, like, I mean, I don't know if you can see that in the picture, but that is, 
Like, is that super slick or what? Okay, so I got the box here, and I decided, okay, I'm going to look at the instructions. Like, I mean, I like to try everything right off the hop. I don't like to have anything staged and everything else, right? I got no affiliation with any of these kind of companies or anything. I buy them myself. I use them myself. And if they're crap, I'll tell you they're crap. And I'm going to use this, like, uh, the bejesus out of it, and uh, I'll let you know in the future if this thing just craps out fast. But, uh, okay, so I knew there was something about the safety when, uh, when I was reading the, uh, the reviews. Safety switch prevents operation when shavings tray is removed. There you go. So the whole idea behind that is when you take the shavings tray out, uh, you got to put it in right or it won't work. And if you take it out, uh, well, I guess it'll prevent somebody from jamming their hands up in there and sticking a pencil in and trying to sharpen their fingers. I have no idea. So that's it with that. So thanks for joining me here today, and uh, thanks for uh, watching this review. It's a real review. And uh, so far, I'm giving it a five star, because I tell you what, I'm not going back to any more dollar store crap. Uh, you know, this is uh, like big time downtown now. And uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm giving it a five star. And if uh, any of you are interested in buying one of these, well, you have to go find it yourself, because I have no idea. I, I just bought off Amazon. This is the one that I picked. I think it's fine. I have no problem with it. And uh, that's the way she goes, say la vie, right? So thanks for joining me here today and come back again. And if you haven't seen this channel before, you're welcome to uh, subscribe and watch some real reviews from a real guy that actually does real stuff. Nothing is staged here, right? Like, like I'm real. I'm as real as they get. So until next week, come back again and uh, let's keep it real. Cheers.